oh my gosh, we cannot catch a freaking break. <sighs> just, just wait till I tell you. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Relegation Ranger. I have more bad news to share with you. But we don't want to start off an episode with all negativity, so let's be positive. Here's a youth intake preview. It looks quite well for the future of the club, considering our current crop of youth prospects is not very good. Not worth including in the squad, let's put it that way. So we got, you know, at least one of our fullbacks has plenty of promise. It looks like there's a left and right back, or maybe that's one player that can play both. I'm not sure. We got a goalkeeper. That's a C. I mean, it's curious to me that, like, you get a B and, uh, what, four Cs, and that equals a four and a half star excellent intake. Maybe it's just in comparison, like our current squad is not very good, but we're being positive. Remember, positive. We have an excellent intake coming. Everyone clap, hit the like button. Continuing the good news hype train, you'll see we are only three points off Numancia now because we beat Tudelano. Um, I think it was a 3-0, and Numancia lost to Villarreal B 2-1. So we are three points back. They're... They're not, well, I was going to say they're not undefeated, but they lost earlier in the season. But, like, you're saying there's a chance. It's, it's like, the, that's really what you need coming into after the holiday break. Hey, we made up some ground against the team at first that's been unstoppable. Maybe they'll get some injuries. Here's the bad news. Cedric has a broken ankle. But congrats, sports science department. It didn't happen in training. It actually happened in the game that we won after the holiday break. We can't even end his loan, so we're stuck paying the eight grand per week until the end of the loan. But hey, maybe this means we can now offer him a slightly lower contract because he has a broken ankle since his you know existing contract with his parent club is ending at the end of the season too. We might want to do that because despite having a promise in place that if we get promoted, we can offer him a contract, the 925 grand we paid for Abdon Pratt is about to walk out the door on a free. I expect the other players, here's the list, with the exact same promise to also walk out the door. So we are well and truly, let's just say, the relegation ranger is glad that he won't be here after the summer because his contract is up too. So we've gone out, literally the day that Cedric broke his ankle, into the transfer market and we've picked up here Diego Moreira on loan. And here's my thinking. He's a solid backup right winger. Let me show you what he looks like. You can tell we're paying him 2.2 grand per week, which is only 80% of his wages. He's got a clean bill of health. He's a nice in inverted winger there. He's got good stats. But my thinking is he's a solid backup rotation option for Gaston. But if Gaston has to play up top, because you know he's rotating now with Abdon, um, that Diego here could do the job on the right-hand side. Again, the 2.2 grand per week is a nice addition. What, I'm, what I discovered when I was looking at the transfer market, because we've been scouting and scouting and scouting, and I've been like shortlisting players just in case, but it's really hard with limited roster slots to consider bringing in those other players, even the ones that might develop. Like, And also, our $2.5 million, if I go over here to the finances, our $2.5 million we have in the transfer budget, obviously we've got... You know, is that 12 grand in the wage budget that could be dumped into the transfer budget? But let's just say, you know, 2.5 million in the transfer budget is not quite good enough to get those really, really good younger players like that are at the big La Liga clubs or, you know, elsewhere um, that the board wants. So we could drop a little bit of the wage budget into the transfer budget to get to like that. We wouldn't get to like four or five million, but get into the threes. But you also have to think about, you know, your sign on bonuses and actually paying them a wage, especially if they're really good and they want like 10 grand a week. So it leaves us in a little bit of a bind where you're like, well, I can't buy the really good players, but I need somebody that could come in and the board don't want me to sign like the recommendation from our assistant. I wonder if I could find it. Yeah. The Cedric replacement was Fernando Lorente at FC Coban. He's on 6.5 grand a week. He's 30 eight he's 38 it's like have, have let's just talk here for a second are you aware of our club vision we talk about it every day in training like you see the players that we bring in they don't want us to bring i mean i guess they would accept players over the age of 32 but they really 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 want us to sign player it says favored the amount of flack i've gotten in my inbox i don't think it's favored so, like, you could argue just go get somebody, but, like, really, they want to be building with youth, which I appreciate and, like, 
that's how I usually play. But back to this guy for a second. He doesn't even fit our system. He's not a pressing forward, right? He's slow. He's not agile. He's just a tall, like, either a deep lying forward with good, like, you know, ball at his feet skills, except he can't dribble, or a target forward. He doesn't even f Why did you recommend this guy? So we headed to our cup game against Alves with our brand new Loney on the bench. He literally just flew in. We haven't even had a press conference. I don't even think the press officer has time to send out a fax to the media. We'll just let the world know he's here when he subs on for someone else with another horrific injury. As you can see here, Mario is almost back. Like, I think it's like a couple days. It's the next day. Altamir will be back in two weeks. And uh, Zuniga has got a tight thigh. But, like, hey, Diego's here and doesn't have a tight thigh. So I'm not going to risk Lauren here because he's got heavy match load. It is what it is. I think we'll probably lose Aguza in the match to injury because it says he's at a high risk but I don't have any other options. We only can bring seven players on the bench. So you bring uh, Sarasanti uh, that, that can cover the midfield, all of the midfield, and the right back position, Alex Pastor, that can cover technically the DM. No, no, yeah, the DM and the center back. Villanova center back, Molina, midfield-ish. Yvonne Gill, midfield and maybe one of the attacking wing roles. And then Diego, who can cover here. So if Pratt's has to go off, we just kind of have to shuffle the deck as you do. Everyone but Gaston was ready to rock. We are 4-0-1 in our last five. Um, I don't can't remember if that includes the friendlies. We played two friendlies and smashed some teams. They are 2-0-3. We are actually slightly favored in this match, which I don't exactly believe. They warned us that their left winger likes to cross the ball a lot, but their striker that they're playing in this one is like 5-11, at least a, a lot. When it gave me the preview, let's just look. Is it? Is he? Yeah, he's 5-11, so that's kind of curious. Um... I'm playing our starters. We did rest everybody because it was like four days between our league game and this. But it's like, you don't get any money. According to the rules, I looked at the rules. You don't get a single penny from the cup competition unless you win. That seems a tad inequitable, if you ask me. Um, but you didn't, so... I thought about just like throwing this game and, and uh, not throwing it, but like rotating in heavily. Again, we can only, we can only have three subs out of, out of the allowed seven. Hopefully that I'll be reminded of that when I look at the subs bench and go, Ooh, um, why didn't he just bring that down or let it fall to the keeper? But okay, we're building out here. It would be nice to win just, you know, to add that into our, um, resume. I, I I've also tried to fix the white balance with my camera. So hopefully I look a little less um, ghostly here, if you will, and look more like a human being. Hopefully I'm not too on the other end, but I think I've got the white balance working a little bit better. It's crossed in and everybody leaves it. We have three defenders hanging out, having a cup of tea, and no one decides to go after the cross. They're just like, oh, he's got it. I'm going to dummy it to my defensive partner instead of just clearing it. Fan-freaking-tastic job. Was that Alinde here? Let's. I think it was. Let's just watch this one. Again, we're not supposed to win this, but like, Oh, no. No, it wasn't. Fair play. Nope, it wasn't Salva. Nope, nope, it was. Oh, we're going to pause. Altair. Oh, you can't believe it. Oh, I just let the ball go right past me. Unbelievable. Um, we also, I didn't I didn't uh, stop to show this to you. We also uh, were offered an interview with LA Galaxy. And since they don't do relegation and they came second in the league last year in MLS, we elected not to accept their interview. Also, I hate MLS. Um, all the rules. This is MLS enough. The roster limitations here is enough. And we've decided to play the ball forward for them instead of ourselves. Lovely stuff. Right down the defense. Oh, he tried to doink. We got the block on the doink. Corner kick right before the whistle at the half. Can we, like, hold them off? Don't have a single green rating except for Altair, which is hilarious since he's the one that let the ball through on the cross for the goal. None of this makes sense, as you do. Oh, Show a bit of desire. You're essentially all playing like garbage. Um, Gaston, I'm not happy. Tomas and Salva and Sergio, you can make the difference. Will Diego come off the bench to make an impact? Or should we not want to win this? Because like that just means more games for us to play with a limited squad full of injuries because of our, our terrible sports science department. And I can't remember if I talked about this, but someone said, like, what are you doing with the training? It's like, I'm not doing any, it's not like I'm doing, you know, three training sessions a day. It's just like I'm picking, like, a vertical tiki taka, whatever it includes. Like, do I need to have four weeks of rest? Is that what needs to happen to make sure the squad doesn't fall apart on us? I'm not sure. 
Plays it forward. Gaston, I thought that was going to Abdon. Gaston with a heavy touch. Turns. Can he find somebody? He does. He finds James. But a good block by the keeper. Oh, just stick a foot in front of it, Gaston. He would have crossed it into the back of his own net if you just put your leg there. Why do I care so much? Okay. Ball in. Oh! Gaston's there. 12th goal of the season. I'm not sure. What what does the little red thing next to that mean? Is that like, is he the is he the leader? Or is it, was it a little cup? It looked like a little cup. I wasn't sure if that was a trophy for him or just saying that he scored in the cup. I'm not sure. We'll never know. We will never know, my friends. Abdon not exactly lighting it up. 6.5. We might take him out. Because at least we could put Gaston up top and bring Diego in on the wing. But, oh, please don't tell me. Oh, I just realized, what if this goes to extra time? <laughs> what if it goes to extra time? That would be terrible. What's he doing there? What's he doing there? Yikes. Okay, Aguza falling apart here. Lovely stuff. I think we're going to... We, we have a game in like three days, so... Okay, let's shuffle the deck here. Abdon there. Diego goes there. He's... Yeah. Is, can he attack? Ish. His finishing is a 10. We'll put you on attack, I think. That makes more sense. Is his finishing any better? I still don't know. Finishing is an 11. Yes, my friend. He is better. <laughs> and then I think we'll do the double switch here. And we'll bring... We will... Uh, oh, our uh, Martin is out with, like, some virus. So he's out for two weeks. Um, who's... who's mm, Melina. Mm, that's, the play, that's the creative force I want. But you know what? Fine. It's not a league game. He can come on in. James is playing terribly. Make an impact. They're both motivated and happy. Lovely stuff. That was a long substitution window, but there you go. We save 20 minutes on the legs of uh, Abdon, and Aguza gets out of here. Out of here, of course, he'll get injured in training, but we get out of here without an injury to him, which is good. I'm like, what What happens if, like, the last day on deadline day, all of the players with promises get purchased? Like, no one wants to come. We would have a load of money, but nothing to do with it. That wasn't a bad first shot by Diego. We'll take that, mate. Like, welcome in. Was that, I don't know if it was his first touch. It looked like it. The, the subs were still walking back to the bench as that highlight was continuing. So, uh-oh. Uh-oh, man in the middle. Number... N Altair. How is he going to... I was trying to pause. He was, like, jogging as Miguel went running past. It's like, bro, pay attention. It is sleeting at 37 degrees Fahrenheit. That's, like, what, 3 Celsius? That doesn't sound nice. Varela's going to fall apart. Salva is on a yellow. You know what? We're going to bring... Because, again, this game doesn't really matter. There's our third sub. I need Salva because we don't have Altamira back yet. So, needs must. You know, he's on a 6.8. You could argue take James off for somebody else. But, appeared inspired. You love to see that, don't you? Come on, lads. We'll, we'll, do, we'll, we'll let Cersanti get plugged in. All right, 80th minute. Give him a big rah-rah from the sideline twirl my my coach's whistle please don't go to extra i i didn't check that part i didn't even consider that i figured we would just lose uh, to be honest with you diego diego oh that was so good until that specific part diego it was so good until that specific part you know what that was the piece of paper that i handed to him diego if it's the 87th minute and we've not won the match be dumb in defense but make it look like you put a lot of effort in Oh, it's... <laughs> it, it was disallowed. Uh, let's put... You go on attack. That's fine. Do we get an extra sub in... Oh, I don't even know. Maybe it just goes straight to pens. It said something like there was going to be a small crowd. Like there's going to be 50 traveling supporters and 250 home supporters. Like nobody cares. I thought, I, that surprises me. Um, maybe it's just because we're so far down. We're just going to let him... I thought that was going to curve in. If he'd gone right foot there, I think he had a shot. Um, oh, extra time. Oh, the, the one thing. Don't let this slip away. Do I get an extra sub? Let's just look. 
If I could sub anybody off, who would I? Well, Oriana's. You know what? Oriana's trying to leave. Fine. Be exhausted. I don't care. <sighs> James could actually go a little bit longer. I mean, we might take one of these two guys off. Maybe a uh, uh, day. Um. Pfft, yeah. We'll put the. Oh, I can sub. Lovely. So fresh legs on the back line in, especially the guy who's supposed to be like the ball playing defender seems like a wise thing doesn't it it does to me um where is he I did he already get there he is i trust you to make the difference oh that inspired some other players extra time as you do because it's ghg hit the like button my friends positive vibes oh gaston oh was that blocked that's a corner. Of course, now now I'm thinking about next match already. Gaston's going to be gassed. James is going to be gassed. Our only left back is going to be gassed. Oriana is going to be gassed. It's like, congrats on winning or losing whatever this match. And then four days of rest for everyone. That is exhausted. Let's just... Let's just 15 shots, 10 on target. It's, it, it's, been, a, it's been a barn burner. Lots of shots. What are the 24 total shots? Okay, they're liking the they're liking the encouragement. And no, I didn't look to see who I was subbing off in their penalty taking. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, oh, it doinks off of the woodwork. I thought it was going to fall into an advantageous position, but it doth not. Look at the what? It, it, why are those stacked on top of each other? Because I guess that's going into the second half. What is that? Do, do you see this? Look, what? what, what? Anyway. I'm not sure if we should go attacking or not. Maybe we do here. With eight minutes to go, we might as well give it a shot and concede because we, we I told you, I've just broken my own promise to myself. I told you we would never go attacking again. But here we, oh my gosh. I was <laughs> oh, it's disallowed. Why is it disallowed? What is he doing? What was that pass? I think that, uh, okay, good job on Villanova having his feet together like this rather than, like, turning. Good job, mate. Good job. You've saved us. Oh. Uh, let's put you, does it, 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 this does not matter. I guess we'll just go in order of this and then composure. Uh, or, um, okay, Varela can go, he's going to go first, because his finishing is quite bad. Gaston can go third, because he's our best penalty taker. Then Tomas. <laughs> Do we bring Diego? What? If you want hero status, Diego, you are going fifth. Hopefully we don't need any of this other stuff. But that would be amazing. Um, Altair, because he's older than Sir Santi, I think. And then just just go in whatever order that you want. Calm. I like that they're calm. We have... Hmm. Maybe, I, I have a feeling it's going to go to James and he's going to miss it. Predictions in the comments. You can go ahead and pause. Leave your prediction. Pick your spot. Don't change your mind. Don't know if that mattered. It looks like, can I talk to, I may be a difference maker. Okay. Okay. Calm, calm, positive, displaying a little emotion. Imagine the scenes. If the guy, we just literally like he, he lands at the airport or the train station or whatever. We throw a kit at him. He sits on the bench, and he comes on to win the penalty shootout. That would be unbelievable scenes. He would instantly be a cult hero. Our, our goalkeeper is positive. This never goes well on my channel if you're new around here. Holzhauser buries it. I don't think if Ramon had gone the correct way, he stops that. They're off to a good start. Here's Varela, who's going to pull his hammy. Uh-oh, camera angle change. No, buries it. Ramon on the side there. Get in. How close are they watching if Ramon comes off his line here? Let's see. Oh, goes the other way. 
I don't know how to make this exciting. Should I play like exciting music? Dun, 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 dun over this. Ariana is not, no, don't do, I hate this run up. I hate, it worked. Okay. I hate the, like, I'm just going to keep jogging and kick it. Like, I'm not going to think about it. That just seems like bad juju to me. That just, it's not good. It's not good. Oh, kind of hard with the camera angle. This is the TV director giving us a different view. Gaston, who's wobbly. His blood sugar's low. He's exhausted. Mm, he gently places it into the left corner. I think if the keeper puts any effort into that, he stops it quite easily. Duarte, different angle. We can't see Ramon because of the scoreboard. That's a pretty stupid place for that scoreboard to be, if you ask me. Tomas. It's, oh, it's coming down to Diogo. LaGuardia, like the airport, steps up. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't think about the alternative, like, what if Diogo misses or it's blocked? And then, instead of being a cult hero, he's destroyed. Think. Th oh, no, the long run-up. All the pressure. Oh, I didn't think about that. I only thought about the positives. We're trying to be positive in this episode. <laughs> it's the new guy's fault. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I can't fault your effort. Is he destroyed? Where is he? He's composed. He's like, I don't care. I just got here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My, <laughs> I'm still chuckling at that. I am going to place ahead to take on, it might be fourth and first, right? Um, that's a critical set of games in February. And then we'll kind of see where we end up again. We're currently three points back, but we're currently eight points ahead of third. That doesn't do us any good, really. If we end up in the playoff, like, yeah, you get the weaker of the teams. But it's like, you really, 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 the board expect us to be here. And we need them. This is what I'm amazed by. Look at, again, I don't understand. How have they not had a single injury? How have they not? I, what's their staff look like? They got medical staff. Chief doctor, they got a head physio. Analyzing data. Sit. Why is it showing me his analyzing data? He's a physio. Okay, 12. Okay. They don't even have a sports science department. Explain to me, like, FM23 experts, how this is happening. They have Ruben Mesa. 12 to 15 finishing. He has 23 goals. 23 goals. He scored 14 last season. The dude is on fire. We should go buy him. Everybody, I mean, he's nine goals here, but like nothing else. Looks like some relative average players on the back line. And they must have had, oh, they've got an injury. Congrats. Congrats. But like nobody else. What is the deal when we are absolutely decimated by injuries hey look we're back at the top of the table the injury table hit the like button because of because penalty shootouts and we i didn't see that coming but then it seemed inevitable and it was we'll see you next time bye bye